Hey guys, I've got a really awesome example of artificial intelligence in Carmageddon 2 to show you today. But actually, I'm, I'm a little hesitant to, to even share this with you because what I'm about to show you is so awesome, it's so unbelievable, it's so outside of the bounds of what most people think that artificial intelligence in, in video games is even capable of. That I'm, I'm almost I'm almost hesitant to even talk about this because out of fear that people are going to think I'm I'm insane I mean totally mad I've totally lost it here but I have I have the video evidence right here to back up everything I'm saying so I'm I'm going to prove it to you I have I have the I have the the video documentation the footage right from the game to back up everything I say now first of all I want to give you a little a background here. Now here's jet car in another clip. Now what the cars, what the vehicles will do sometimes is they go in and out of ghost mode and they leave these parts behind. And when they reappear, the parts reattach themselves to them. Now here he, he hits the uh, bomb there and, and, he, and I think the parts got blown off permanently at the end there. So with that background in mind, I want to show you the clip. This is a clip I want to show you. Now here we see Screwy Louie just drove by in ghost mode. That's a that's a low like the low resource intensive mode. Now I was I was looking at that in, in uh, instant replay. What the clip you just saw there, and I thought to myself right here. I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I went over to that spot where he left those fenders behind, <laughs> and they were still there, and I actually ran into them. But I knew I had to be quick because, uh oh, nope, they weren't there. I just passed by the spot where they had been left behind, and they weren't there. See, see, I knew what. what Wait a minute, what's this? What's this? They're, they're right there. I thought I just passed by that spot and they weren't there. How come they're there? Let's see that again. So here I go. Right here, this spot. This is the spot where the fenders were left behind. They're not there. So I spin around. I said, oh, well, it didn't work. Oh, it was worth a try. And I spin around. I come back and there they are. And I can actually run into them. They're like floating in the air there. I can run into them and, and knock them over. And then... And there's Screwy Louie, he's just waiting there for me, and then I, I waste him. So what what, what, in the, what the hell happened there? How, what, what, what was that? Well, let, let's see it again now. Let's see that again, instant replay, in, from Screwy Louie's point of view. So, so he goes by in ghost mode, and he leaves his fenders behind. So this is a spot right here. Now what I think happened is that the AI knew that I was just... It knew I was just looking at that spot... But see here, here's Screwy Louie, he reappears. So I figure, uh oh, Screwy Louie is, is there, so the fenders probably reattached themselves. But I think the AI knew I was looking at the um, at the spot where the parts were. And I think as soon as I left in Instant Replay, I, I headed toward that spot, the AI knew what I wanted to do. So I skidded to a stop right here, and I turn around, and there are the parts there that I had been wanting to see, I had been wanting to check them out, and there they were back there on the ground again. So let's see this, let's see this whole thing from uh, Screwy Louie's point of view. So he leaves the fenders behind, right? Now wait, watch this. Look, look, did you see that? Whoa! <laughs> they fly into the air. They just fly into the air like that, like they're going to some kind of temporary holding bin. I think this is a spot right here where the AI, where I left instant, re I, I left instant replay mode and the AI knew what I was up to. So I go, especially when I go right past the spot where I was just watching instant replay mode. So what does the AI do? It drops the parts down for me. <laughs> it drops them back down for me so I can check them out. The AI knew what I was wanting to do and it obligingly cooperated and put the parts back down, which is it's really freaky. Now, I, you know, I can't think of any other explanation for this because I've never seen the AI do this before. I've never seen the game do this before. So the AI knew that I had just been in instant replay mode. I had been looking at this exact spot in the game. And so when I s went out of instant replay mode, I immediately headed to the same spot. The AI put two and two together and realized that what I wanted to do was to check out that fender that Screwy Louie had left behind. Now this would be an example not just of artificial intelligence, but of what they call artificial intuition. And this is not a term that I made up. This, is act this actually has uh, an entry on Wikipedia. Artificial intuition is when the game intuitively knows, or whatever piece of software, intuitively knows what the user is trying to do. So let's, let's see this clip again now. 
one last time. So here's Screwy Louie goes, goes by. He leaves his fender behind like that. And then I, I was looking at that in instant replay mode. I immediately uh, leave instant replay mode. I think it would be cool to see if that fender is still there. But unfortunately, Screwy Louie appears as I'm coming by. So I knew that the, the parts were probably not going to be there, which they weren't. So I hit the brakes, I spin around, and the AI knows what I'm trying to do. At this point, it knew uh, unmistakably what I was trying to do. I wanted to check out that fender there. So it drops it back down there for me. So what, what's so amazing about this, this clip, there it goes, is that this is really a bug, you know, that the, the thing of leaving the fenders behind when the car is in ghost mode and then it reappearing when the car reappears back on the vehicle that's a that's a bug that's not really you know supposed to do that that's that, that doesn't really make any sense really and the player normally never sees that the player would never see that only way the player would see that would be if if he spends a lot of time in instant replay mode and then you know that's the only way you would possibly see that so that, that's a bug so for the AI to be able to basically take control of this bug and to manipulate it in order to accommodate the player's wishes, that is pretty mind-blowing. And that's, that's what I believe actually happened. The AI was able to take advantage, manipulate a bug in its own coding in order to satisfy the user's wishes. And that is pretty freaky. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. And be sure to check out my other videos here for other examples of really amazing artificial intelligence in video games that go beyond what most people think is, is possible in a video game uh, in terms of artificial intelligence. And remember this, that this game is, is like 15 years old now, and yet it still has more advanced artificial intelligence in it than most re people realize. So imagine what, what the state of artificial intelligence is today. I mean, this is why we have things like Apple, Siri, and IBM Watson. And just imagine what it's going to be like a few years from now. So um, be sure to check out my other videos, and thanks for watching.